Hi friends, welcome back. We are gonna continue working on this standard, which is fourth grade measurement and data. A, because it's the first cluster um, of standards within this group, and then one, because it's actually the first of the A standards. There's actually an A2, and we're gonna talk about that one tomorrow. So this standard is still helping us meet the target. I can create conversion tables for length, width, weight, and capacity units using measurement tools and use the tables to solve problems. Now yesterday we talked about using these conversion tables for length and weight and today we're going to talk about capacity. So what we're going to do is just like yesterday we're going to solve some problems using conversion tables for capacity um, which is a type of measurement which will make sense in just a second but what we're going to do first is I'm going to get you guys to draw something with me that's like a helpful tool that you can use to help you remember how to convert capacity using standard measure. So this is US standard measure for capacity. And capacity is all about how much something can hold. In this case, we're actually talking about liquid capacity. That's what we're talking about today. So, so how much something can hold, and that is exactly what we're gonna be talking about today. So the reason I feel like it's important we know that this is US standard measure, this is not the metric system, which of course we've learned about already. Um, and then US standard is just a little bit different. So what we're gonna do, is you're gonna grab something to write with, something to write on, and you are gonna draw this picture either with me or you're gonna pause it and draw it on your own. So, US standard measure for capacity, the largest that we use in our household, starts with the letter G. Now, milk usually comes in one of these. You can buy orange juice or cranberry juice or some other kind of fun, yummy juices or drinks. They come in this unit of measure. This is a gallon. So that's why we drew a really big letter G is because the gallon is actually the largest of the standard household US capacity measures. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today is the gallon. So I'm just gonna make it look a little bit bigger. This is real big, big gallon. I bet you have a gallon of something in your refrigerator right now. In our fridge, it's coconut milk. <laughs> okay, so one gallon can hold other units of capacity. One gallon can actually hold four quarts. So we're gonna draw four Q's inside this G to represent one gallon equals four quarts. So a quart, if you have four of them, you have a gallon. In my refrigerator, we have two quarts of coconut milk and two quarts of almond milk. So all together we have a gallon of those types of liquid in our fridge, but we don't have a you know full gallon of any one of those types of milk. We just have the two different types of quarts. So let's move on to the next one. A quart can hold two pints. It looks like pint but it is pronounced pint. So we're gonna draw two pints in each one of these quarts. So that means a gallon can hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pints. I want you to say that word a few times because you're gonna see it more than once and it's not pints, it is pints, pint, pint, pint. So a gallon can hold two, four, six, eight pints. And then finally, we are gonna talk about 
the next one, which is cups. So each one of these pints has two cups in it. So that is another form of standard measure. So one gallon holds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen cups. So if that's true, then that means that one quart is how many pints? Boom, two pints. And a quart is how many cups? One, two, three, four. That also means that one pint is that's right, two cups. So if you haven't already, I would like for you to make sure you have something to write with, something to write on, and I want you to record our US standard measure for capacity, for liquid capacity, um, starting with the gallon. One gallon is one, two, three, four quarts, two, four, six, eight pints, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 cups. And I'd also like for you to draw out this chart as well. All right, welcome back. So remember, every day this week on your playlist, you not only have access to these videos right here and the link to Zern, but you also have an extra link that gets you to some work that we're gonna be doing. So if you are working on this along with me, now is the time to grab the lesson two problem set. We're only actually gonna be working on the first page of lesson two, the second page. I recommend you try on your own once we finished the first page. So let's go ahead and get started. Zoom in here. Okay, Susie has three quarts of milk. How many pints does she have? Well, we are going to do the RDW strategy. We did the read, boom, now it's time to draw. So let's draw three quarts. So I'm gonna draw three quarts. One, two, three quarts. And I remember that each one of these quarts has two pints inside. So I'm gonna draw one pint, one pint. So that's one quart, but she has three, so that's. How many pints is that? Three quarts equals two, four, six pints. Awesome. All right, let's try number two. Kristen has three gallons of drink, oh, excuse me, Kristen has three gallons, two quarts of drinking water, or just water. Alana needs the same amount of water, but only has eight quarts. How many more quarts of water does Alana need? All right, friends, so I'm gonna refer back to our notes from yesterday. We are going to be working with multiple operations. That means there's gonna be more than one of these operations using used to solve this problem. So, RDW, we did the read. Now let's do a little drawing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split my space in half and have this part be for Kristen and this part be for Alana. So, I know that Kristen has three gallons. One, two, three. And she also has two quarts. One, two. I know that Alana has eight quarts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the question is, how many more does Alana need in order to have the same as Kristen? Well, our picture doesn't show equal on both sides. It also shows completely different units of measure. We've got gallons over here and quarts over here. So what we're gonna need to do is convert 
or change these gallons into quarts. Going back to our trusty picture, we know that a gallon has four quarts in it. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's four, eight, 12, 13, 14. So that's the magic number over here, 14 quarts. But Alana only has eight. So she's gonna need how many more quarts to get to 14 quarts? Let's draw it. Eight, nine, so I'm gonna actually put a line right here so I know where I'm drawing my new one. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. She needed six more quarts. So I'm gonna write down here, Alana needed six more quarts. All right. All right, so we are gonna skip number three because that's going back into the metric system, which is great practice, but I'm gonna skip it so we can just focus on US standard. So I'm skipping ahead to number four. If I have one gallon, how many quarts do I have? That's right, I have four quarts. If I have three gallons, how many quarts do I have? Four, eight, 12, I have 12 quarts. If I have five gallons, how many quarts do I have? So that would be five of these. We could count that five times. So let's see. One, two, three, four, that's one. One, two, three, four, that's two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So if I have five gallons, I have 20 quarts. You guys see the pattern? What happens if I have 10 gallons? What happens if I have 10 of these? How many quarts do I have? That would be one, two, three, four times what? 10, which is 40. All right, friends, time to remember that pro tip from the last video. If it's asking me for 13 gallons, but I don't feel like doing the standard algorithm, I don't feel like you know doing extra steps, I can just use what I've got in my chart already. So 13 is 10 and three. We know that 12 quarts are in three gallons and 40 quarts are in 10 gallons. So what's 12 and 40 together? That's right. That's 52 quarts. So what's the rule for converting gallons to quarts? Nice job. It's times four quarts. Sweet. All right, let's move on to pints. Going back to our picture, how many pints are in one quart? Two. So I'm gonna say one quart is the same as two pints. What about two quarts? That's right, four pints. What about six quarts? That's right, it's 12 pints. What about 10 quarts? Boom, 20 pints. Remember the pro tip? I don't feel like doing 16 times anything, so I'm just gonna take what I've got in my chart. I've got 16, which is 10 and six. Six quarts is 12 pints. 10 quarts is 20 pints. Put those together and you get how many pints are in 16 quarts, which is 32 pints. So what's the rule? That's right, times two pints. Okay friends, so 
I am going to do, I changed my mind as I was filming. We're gonna do two of these, okay? We're gonna do gallons to quarts and we're gonna do quarts um, to pints to cups. I like this one. So we're gonna do, let's do A and let's do D, okay? Now, you have access to all of these problems. I recommend trying some of these on your own with your family, um, whatever helps you, okay? So, if I know that eight gallons, two quarts, I need to convert that to quarts. So, eight gallons, two quarts. Eight gallons, two quarts. So, I'm gonna say gallons, quarts. All right, so remember, one gallon, is four quarts, so eight gallons. Remember the rule was times four quarts. What's eight times four? That's right. 32. So I've got eight gallons, but I've also got two quarts. So that means I have to do 32 quarts plus the two extra quarts and that gives me 34 quarts. Awesome. Okay, don't forget those multiple operations. Can't just leave it at that. We can't forget about any little stragglers that we've got. Okay, so last one that we're gonna do together before you do your work today. We're gonna convert these quarts and pints to cups. So I'm actually gonna make one that goes three ways across. So, one quart is how many pints? Two pints. Remember from our picture, one quart is two pints. And that's how many cups? One, two, three, four. All right. So that means 12 quarts. We would need to say 12 times what to figure out pints? 12 times two, which is 24 pints. And then remember there are two cups in a pint. So you could either say 12 times four or 24 times two, because you have 24 pints and each one of these pints has two cups in it. But here's the cool thing, you can't see that. We're doing each one of these pints and each one of these pints has two cups in it, but also each quart has four cups in it. So either way you solve it, you're gonna get the same answer. To help you out, I'm gonna show you both ways. So, 24 pints times two cups per pint, and then we also said that 12 quarts times four cups in a quart. These are gonna be the same answer. Check this out. Two times four, eight. Two times two, four. Let's try it over here. Four times two, eight. Four times one, four. So either way, as long as you're using the conversions correctly, you're gonna get 48 cups are in 12 quarts. But wait, three pints, oh no. So we need to do one more conversion. So pints to cups. We have one pint has two cups in it. Remember we're converting those three extra pints. So three pints, what's three times two? Is six cups. So that means we take these six cups that we converted and we add them to these 48 that we converted. And what do we get? Fifty-four cups. Friends, you are gonna be working on problems just like this today. You're gonna be working on meeting this target I can create conversion tables for length weight. Remember we're focusing on capacity today and we're using those units, um, using measurement tools and the tables to solve problems. Don't forget to create your own 
image to help you remember and to help you kind of keep track. And I wish you luck. Have fun.